I, I honestly feel when I'm down and I'm witnessing this, that it's just way too beautiful to hold on to just for me. I want everyone to have a little piece of heaven. Each year, the Weather Network receives probably thousands of videos and pictures of sunrises and sunsets from across the country. And every day when the light first appears in the small Ontario town of Port Stanley, Anne-Marie Stevens is there with her camera ready in hand. Not only has it become a daily ritual, it has also become a way of healing from a tragic loss. I'm fourth generation Port Stanley, so we go way back to my, my great grandparents uh, lived in Port Stanley. So I was raised on the beach. That beach is located almost right in the middle of the north shore of Lake Erie. For those who call the small village of 2100 residents home, it's known simply as Port. And it's where Anne-Marie Stevens, a mother of five boys, captures some stunning photos. Here is, is Little Beach, the actual beach where I do the sunrises every day. Sharing her little corner of the world has become a ritual, and no matter what season it is, when the light first appears over Lake Erie, she is there, camera in hand. My favorite time has to be first light. I think I like first light even better than the actual sunrise, because the colors like you saw this morning, the red, was unbelievable. Of course, it's not all sunrises and pretty pictures in Port Stanley. Anne-Marie has experienced firsthand some of the wickedest weather the town has seen. As you know, we had um, a Category 1 hurricane, which was unbelievable. Never thought I'd see something like that in my lifetime. Uh, and that brought waves from all directions um, right from the beginning. While Port Stanley is mostly a three-season town, even in the cold and dark days of Canadian winters, people are drawn to the water. And even on the days when you think there's not going to be anybody down here, we get the surfers, we get the kayakers, we get the, uh, the wind surfers with the great big kites. We get everybody down here. The sunrise over Port Stanley doesn't just connect Anne with her community there is a deeper focus behind her photos, ever since the sudden death of her infant son, Joey. He was born with a very rare chromosomal syndrome, uh, 1Q deletion syndrome. So it was very sudden. He passed away pretty much in the middle of the night um, as a result of um, uh, a seizure uh, unknown to us. I just wanted to be closer to heaven, closer to him and nothing like the sunrise to reconnect you. These moments of connection prompted Anne-Marie to start the Joey Project. The collection of photos inside her little beach shop are inspired by her son. She says each shot is taken through the lens of love and inspiration. We moved back to Port Stanley because I wanted to be near the sun, to be near the shoreline at sunrise. I started going to the beach every single morning, so I felt closer to heaven, closer to the shoreline, closer to my son. One of the things that we say in Port Stanley is that Port Stanley really is paradise, and it's our little piece of the world, and we think everybody should have a piece of it too.